Say that you're leaving, thin as a shadow. Don't walk away, don't walk away. There's still waters to travel. Planted a garden. So we're here at Spitalfield City Farm on a lovely Sunday, sunny day. Now we're praying for showers. Went for a short walk. Found you some new shoes. I hope it fit. I hope it fit. Please let me tie them for you. We, 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 we have all the things we need to make it work. Ding, ding, ding. Please don't give we're getting people to stitch lids on jam jars. To get them talking about um, Oxfam's Grow campaign and the food system, um, and specifically talking about a woman who made tomato jam that I met, hence the jam jars, um, and get them to reflect on her story and how that fits in with the injustice issue around food. It's stronger when they combine them. Yeah, I think it's the Went to the movies. We can do things and definitely there are people up for it. Monsters are really scary. We 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 have all the things we need to make it work. Ding ding ding, please don't give up even though I know even just you know seeing the tomato jam because I think when I was at Kenya one thing that it made me think of was how resourceful they are you know they they don't have much but what they do have they just they make it work for themselves so I think an event, event like this is so out there I mean it's not your typical kind of rally or kind of like protest or anything that something as simple as tomato jam could just spread and develop so many different conversations and just get everyone talking and hearing everyone's views um, you know on the actual issue really quite pleased when I got put to work just like buttering sandwiches and making jam sandwiches for everyone but yeah it's really nice to see people trying trying the jam and enjoying it and fueling them in their craftivist activities. Well after reading Christine's story I found it really inspiring to see that this woman after having gone through so many hardships and her community having faced so many different things, they actually came together and found a way to work through and find As solutions. True peace will never grow strong in the soil of inequality. I think it's a very good message and what I plan to do is to stitch this, put it on the lid, make tomato jam and give it to my MP. <laughs> in the link between making things with your own hands and your sense of agency and empowerment in the world and I think what the Craftivist Collective does is it takes it that one step further by saying that you can actually affect change through making something and I think that has a really massive impact. Coming along today was really a chance to sort of put a campaign into action I guess and I think it, it gives you kind of motivation for your craft in a different way to what you would have just by sitting at home and doing it on your own. The world produces enough food from some of us will go hungry. Oh, that jam's really good. Well done. Oh, some goats going by. Oh, quick! <laughs>